is Gagandeep Singh. Can you please share with us? I'm going to share my idea about Anitrans, an AI animal language translator. So, how did I get this idea? So, the cat you see here is Pearl, my pet, who ran away one and a half years ago during the storm. I don't know why, but she uh, was a happy. Uh, she was happy with us, and uh, but one night she ran away during the storm. So then I thought of making anitrans. So what can anitrans do? So anitrans can actually. But first, I have a question for you. So can you tell how this dog is feeling? Any answers? Correct. So this dog is feeling hungry. So Anitrans can actually help you in that without thinking. So you need to take your camera and then you need to click the picture of the uh, dog or any animal and then it will tell how the dog is feeling, sad, hungry or scared. So why should we build Anitrans? We need to build Anitrans to communicate with pets effectively, to break the ice and train pets and make more people come forward to adopt pets. So there would be three features of an anitrans. First would be uh, voice identification, gesture recognition, uh, safety collar. Safety collar uh, you can also call it geotagging and geofencing. So safety collar basically could be worn on the pet, uh, on the neck of your pet and then using GPS signal you can track your pet with your mobile phone and then like it can also tell you the readings, the heartbeats and all. Of the pet. So there's a roadmap ahead for this model. First is to gather data. Uh, we gather data from vets. Uh, like uh, we go to a vet and then ask them how do the dogs feel when uh, like when they're doing like wiggling the tail in a certain way or doing something else like something weird that, that they don't you do usually. Then we will collect the data that we have got from vets. We like uh, put the data together uh, that we got from vets, so like it would be then programmed. And then develop uh, the model, like we'll see other also like there are many uh, things in development uh, related to this. So we'll also get ideas from that and then we'll develop the model in such a way it uh, is better than others. And then finally we'll test the model and uh, then like uh, we'll take, uh, for example there's a dog here. And then we'll uh, use the safety collar and uh, see if it uh, catches the signal, the mobile catches signal from the safety collar. And uh, also check the heart rate, heart readings and all. And then finally launch the model and hope for positive reviews. So this would be the user interface. So there would be the settings menu, that's the logo on the top. And then uh, the menu, you can uh, see the menu, like these purple buttons. There would be four options and uh, here you can see the settings, you can change the settings and then those three lines will uh, show you like about the animal if you want to change its uh, name or anything. And then let's go to the options. So first is recognize breed. In case you don't know uh, the breed of the animal, you can recognize it by using the camera on the app. And then uh, monitor pet, so you need to connect another tablet or any device for that. And then uh, you need to use the camera so that it can monitor the pet on the go. It will also tell if it's resting, playing or sleeping. And um, uh, you can like monitor it on the go. And finally, um, it would be it would be recognize gestures. So it would recognize gesture like it's wiggling its tail uh, and it's trying to express something. So uh, using the camera you can also see that, like uh, how it is feeling. And then finally connect the device. This is basically for connecting the safety collar and uh, more uh, devices would be added in future updates like robots as the technology advances. So every project has an objective. So my project's objective is to bridge the communication gap between pets and pet owners, making life easy for pets and pet owners and more people can come and adopt uh, pets like because stray dogs are a menace in India and any trans can help them uh, give them a better life. So if you adopt any pet and you don't know much about it, um, like you can uh, know how to train the pet, how to like properly take care of it 
and then using those icons you can also like recognize everything about it so there are limitations so we would be first focusing on uh, the uh, basics like uh, first we'll start with hamsters cats and dogs these only can be recognized in the first updates more animals would be added in future updates uh, soon are there any questions we'll be happy to answer all right so thank you